Hello, this is Noel Burton, surveyor and reseller for MLID in Australia. I'm going to go through setting up the REACH RS2 to be able to broadcast the N-TRIP correction over a server and um, how to set it up using the REACH RS2 base rover and uh, the UCORS N-TRIP server. So you can see here at the moment um, I'm on the rover and I'm actually getting the correction through the N-TRIP server which is being broadcasted from the base. So we're going to go and open up the UCORS site. You can get a trial license for free. I've actually got a license so I log in with your registered email address and password. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a mount point. So you can do that basically anywhere. So we'll just stay on under the dashboard tab at the moment. So we select create mount point. The cast will be the closest one to your location. For me it will be the Singapore one. And I'm going to give it a name, DS test, and select save. It will then prompt you to set up more information such as the password under the data source tab. So if we select data source, now we will select NTRIP version 2, which will allow us to create a username and password. So I'm just going to call this DS Rover A. So it'll be relating to one of my rovers and the password. You'll see that the mount point's already there. And select save. Okay, so we've created the mount point. Now we go to the description tab and we're going to give it information relevant to the mount point for people to be able to find it. So the identification, I'm just going to give it a, a brief description of where it is. B-N-E-A-U-S for Brisbane, Australia. The format will be RTCM 3.2. The format, so that will be RT. CM 3.2 the carrier will be yes L1 and L2 now the navigation system we will select GPS GLONASS and BDU so don't select Galileo as it, it can cause some issues the network is the datum you're broadcasting so it will be GDA 2020 the country is Australia and then we're going to give it an approximate latitude and longitude just to the nearest two decimal places of a degree minus 27.56 for latitude and longitude 152.86 okay the solution will be a single base the generator it's coming from an MLID RS2. The bitrate will set to zero and click save. Mount point description is successfully updated. Right, so that's now the mount point set up. We're now going to then create a client. So the uh, the rover will need this information to be able to log in so the name will be DS Rover A and the password we will type in and select save now we're going back to our base and we're going to broadcast to that NTRIP server Firstly, to help us with our information, we're going to go back to the dashboard. So we've got the information for our particular caster. So if we go to base mode, we turn the base mode on. And we then fill in the NTRIP value. So in this case, it's 139.59.97.139. The port. 2101 the password and the mount point 
and select apply. In the base mode just make sure your corrections don't include Galileo. Okay now to check that this is actually broadcasting now if we go back to our mount points we select DS test under info you'll see that it's started and the duration now is about 18 seconds. Also if you click on sessions it will give you a timeline. Okay we're now going to check the rover. So on the rover now if we go to corrections input we select end trip again we're putting in the address and port number that we saw previously the username and the password so this is the client username and password we pick the mount point and then select apply okay you see it's connected to the mount point there if we scroll back up go to and select status you'll now see it's receiving the corrections and it's